Hey everybody, welcome in, and big news, Toy Story event is back, and bringing back Bo Peep. So, we're going to have a quick look at this, I'm going to try and go over um, what this event is going to be like, uh, the best strategies to go about things if anyone's new uh, and wanting to know how to go about uh, Toy Story events, that's what we're going to be looking at, and I'm going to tell you guys about what as new players what you should be doing and then as experienced or older players if you've already established uh, what what I'm going to do so let's jump in uh, first part of the event no strings attached is an uh, event based around uh, Woody you have to have um, you have to have buzz so if we look down there in the right white the <laughs> white writing uh, required uh, you need a full squad you need to have uh, buzz lightyear uh, you need to have heroes and having one star and then you're going to go down the list one star then you need a two star three star four star five star and if we have a quick look at the rules uh, about the info uh, you gotta have Gabby Gabby's dummies, they steal helpful effects and they spread harmful effects with their abilities. So what you want to do is have A, you're going to want to have Buzz and for each of the Toy Story events you're going to have to have the Toy Story characters as well. So you're going to end up having Buzz and Woody to do these events and Jesse. So to do all of the different events. So you're going to want to prioritise those three during the events. Uh, definitely look to get uh, Buzz to... Uh, where possible, I'd say four star, three to four star is fairly easy, five star is a little bit more of a jump, but it is doable, as long as you're hard grinding for them, um, and then by going for more stars for Buzz, you'll also get more stars for Woody, so if you can unlock all of these, you'll get one, two, three, six, 10, 15, so you get 15 Woody enough to unlock them so you can take part in the next rounds and then you also get bonus 1 to 5 uh, tokens which I don't think is enough because last time we saw the 1 to 5 range it was majority 1 and then maybe like a 2 or 3 will sneak in there uh, that's like with refreshes every day and all sorts so very low chances so not too many Woody tokens up for grab which is a shame hopefully Hopefully that would change. But another amazing thing is the Duke Kaboom spell token. So there is uh, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 tokens up to grabs. And he is an amazing, amazing, amazing spell. Definitely worth using. Um, and the higher you can get them, the better they're going to be. So he does big damage and he does um, gives a vulnerability as well. And that is that is amazing. So... If anyone wants to see how the previous Toy Story events before uh, before the game was turn-based, uh, check some of my old videos. I do have Toy Story event the last time this event rolled around. So I'm guessing it'll take a similar, have a similar look to it, but it'll have to be different because the game is a bit different now. Um, now, moving on, playtime's over. So this one, you have uh, the enemies revive unless all are defeated. So you've got to try and take them all out or they're going to start reviving. And this one, I remember like the first time I tried, I was like, okay, this could be difficult. So it has a potential, but also with it capping the, the stars so low at five star um, and whatnot, the difficulty is probably not going to be too high. So you'll probably still be able to reach it. Um, so for this one, minimum need a Woody two star plus, and then you're going to be getting uh, Toy Story keys, you're going to be getting Jesse tokens and Bucket of Soldiers, one of the best spells in the game at the moment as well. So uh, my priority is going to be this because I don't have my bucket maxed, so I'm at 52 out of 120, I want these tokens. So that's what I'm going to be going for. Um, so I want to be going for all of those, although that's the only way you can only get them on your first run through, which is a little bit of a shame. So, so what we're going to be looking for through here, you need Buzz and Woody to go through all of these, and I'm just hyped to try and go get some of, some of those, uh, the, that bucket of soldiers is what I really want. And then getting as much Jesse tokens as you can possibly is going to be key. So, 
with that being said, now let's jump into the next one. So we do get keys from this one, and just like last time with the Scar event, uh, there are going to be obtained in Hero and Villain campaigns, Toy Story keys. So hopefully the drop rates are better, or hopefully they lower the amount of keys needed. They do not state how many keys you need and let's be friends here. So it shows all at zero, but it doesn't tell you how much you need. The last Toy Story event never had keys. The only event that has had keys so far has been both of the Scar events that have rocked around, the Lion King events. So that in saying that, Imagination is an up there spell as, as well. Very, very, very good. Uh, Bo Peep has potential to be very, very good character as well. Um, she she brings a lot with her um, with her leader ability, um, getting extra eight percent bonus offense, and then twenty percent for Toy Story has a that's a, a decent amount of damage. So especially with say Zerg and Buzz, they can deal damage. So the she has potential. But it'll be interesting to see how she actually runs, especially when I can actually level her up a bit more and get some more stars on her so she can compete. Um, so, I'm quite excited to get Bo Peep tokens because last time she was very, very limited. And so this one you need Buzz, Woody and Jessie. So if you're a new, new player, this is going to be tough because it doesn't look like there is very many uh, options to get Woody and Jessie at the moment. So I'm guessing there's going to be store packs, and if there are, if they're like the 500 gem ones, I think those are good value. So go for them. I can recap on this when everything does come out, but and I can give you definites of what is the best way to go about getting them. Um, so keen on uh, getting all of these. Uh, the thing with this event, this is a real cool boss on the last game mode. So yet again previous video check it out if you want to see how it was defeat Gabby Gabby but she gets in invulnerable when um, when she's still got her allies around her all the dummies and then so they're stealing effects giving you more effects and then you got to try and take them all out and then she becomes open for some damage and then the next wave comes and that's what it was previously like um, so it'll be interesting to see if it is just like that or not uh, now in saying that it is going to be very interesting, hopefully hopefully the keys are better drops um, and they give us a better chances at things this time because they were so limited for the Sky event, I must say, for everybody, everybody, uh, there wasn't enough uh, attempts for Sky and, and yet this one's capped again, so it's 2 star, 2 star, so the difficulty for this one will be actually super easy, level 12, level 20, 2 star, 2 star. 3 star, 28, 35, and 45, with 155, so it's nice to go to 55, and I do love that there is Zerg, so Zerg makes another appearance, a chance to get his tokens, which is amazing, so, I am definitely gunning for the Bo Peeps and the Zergs, hopefully I'll be able to get enough uh, keys to get that far, um, but you only get two, two tokens, and if it's a stretch to get the stretch to get the keys again it's going to be difficult so we'll, we'll see we'll see how this goes um hopefully this event's going to be amazing um oh, let's have a quick look for uh the heroes that we want so toy story heroes starting with grand champion so there's no more woody in here woody always used to be like the very last character in grand champion so there's no way to get him in there anymore. Buzz is first on stage three, so you only need to be like what level twelve to get him. So farm Buzz up. Start now. Farm Buzz. Put everything into getting Buzz. Get him as high level as you can, so you can get as much Woody tokens as possible, just to help get you through. Um, and then use your Grand Champion energy on Buzz. That's as soon as you find out about events or know what events are necessary. Use those characters, get them ready, so you are ready for when this event comes up to carry on, or even when the next one is. Then you can just go through it all. So that's that's the idea. So during any event, just as soon as you know, you've got a couple of days warning. Target those, go up as far as you can. So no toy stories at all in here. 
So I am guessing, I am guessing they're either going to change because they have changed previously for one of the Aladdin events. They went in and changed uh, which characters, which nodes dropped uh, the the uh, event characters. So that's when they added Genie and things like this in here, Genie and Jasmine. Um, so they may do that for Toy Story and they may add Jesse and uh, Woody in. Uh, potentially, potentially that, that might might happen. Um, so if, if that does happen, farm them up as well. Uh, farm the ones that you need and get a good, decent level to get as much, the maximum reward you can. Uh, level 2, 3 star, should be easy to get them all 3 star and then work on work your way on a 4 star and whatever else you can do. So if that happens, there may also, I'm thinking there's most likely going to be, that was not what I clicked on. Uh, there, there's most likely going to be some little value packs or some reward packs um, the like 500 gem character packs if, if they do come around and they're dropping like five to, minimum five tokens for 500 gems like five to 15 or whatever the chances are give it a go if you if you want to invest into this I think it can be good investments, although at the moment, Woody and Jesse are trash characters. At the moment, they need a massive buff, but they're both support characters and they're both not great. Um, so Buzz is good. Buzz is worth the, all of the investment, but Woody, he just lacks, he doesn't do damage. His uh, Yeehaw gives nice haste. Snake in my boot doesn't do any, pretty hardly any damage. Potentially has a chance to do vulnerable. Uh, send out the troops. This can be okay if it happened more, uh, or more healing came from it. And then his leadership is kind of like mm, a little bit more tenacity. Not, not, not great. It needs to be a lot more for what he is. Um, so he's only really worth it to get through the event and get more rewards. Let's just put it that way. But. I personally do think it's worth investing in, into event characters because you get decent rewards from events. And similar for Jessie, she's not potentially great anymore. She used to be a great, the best character for you could pull her in and shield up characters and they'll be safe. But now with the 5 versus 5 and the, the turn basis, it's not enough. It's not enough. And she doesn't do much damage and she's just not good enough anymore. So... Just be careful, there is a little war warning of caution with those characters, but Buzz is, is, he's a good character, he deals good damage, he's got some good stun, his abilities are fast, so he is a good, he is a good character. So if you want to invest in him, definitely do it, invest for the event and invest, invest to get the spells and the... the soldiers, the imagination, the Bo Peep, Zerg, whatever you can get. In that way, the events are worth it. So, and then you also get to hold them for next time the Toy Story events or other events took over. So, that in mind, I say invest. But if you have limited investment, limited gems, limited gem income, whatever it might be, be smart about who you're going to choose. So, get them all up around two, three star. Work on some for four star. Definitely focus buzz in the in the GC energy grand champion um maybe you look at if there's become available look at farming some of them or spreading it out or getting some boosters from the shop but at your discretion two three stars easy definitely go for that i'd recommend recommend going three star to four star because that's only like what uh 10 10 15 25 and then a 30 those are all easy targets to hit and only take a little bit of investment so minimum i'd say invest up into four star but hopefully that has helped go for that buzz start grinding him now uh, if you don't have him already and if you do invest now this is what i'm going to do i am going to invest heavily into i wanted to invest heavily into uh getting more and more and more out of playtime's over but i i have only just realized that the bucket of soldiers is only first attempt through so i was hoping to get more and more tokens from it the keys hopefully will be worth it i'll do a couple of refreshes just for that and just because i want to get those zerg and i want to get the bow peeps
because for me that's that's what I, I want the bucket of soldiers and I want the Zerg and Bo Peep. That that's all I need, and I really want those two characters as well. So I can't wait to see what this event brings. Uh, hopefully they fix a few of the issues that people were saying about the keys last time. So either a lower amount, less than 15, or make them easier to get. But we'll have to wait and see. So until then, we'll see you next time and I'll give you an update on the event.